Now with Mesh Fusion, you can use curves as input for surface strips, as well as standard fusion rolls. We support curves, bezier curves, and B-spline curves. In this example, we have a shoe sole, and we're going to use Mesh Fusion to create a couple of different strips. Here we have the standard workflow where we have a mesh, and we'll use that mesh to create a strip with Mesh Fusion. With that mesh selected, we'll click on the Strips button and we get our expected mesh strip created. There are many situations where the modeling gets complex to create these mesh-to-mesh -mesh interactions and using curves is a lot easier. In this case, we have a curve that's been drawn on the surface and we can use this to create a mesh fusion strip. So we'll select the curve, select the tool, and click on Strip. The default is to extrude perpendicular, so we'll go ahead and change that to extrude along surface normal. And here you can see we get the strip created from our curve on the surface. We have another fusion mesh. We'll select that and do a subtraction. And then we have this pattern that can show up all over the shoe. Another scenario where we can use curves in conjunction with mesh fusion is this one. Here we have a profile curve that we've modeled on top of the geometry. So we can select the model and we can apply our strip. Then we'll choose a long surface normal and we'll get that strip generated where we could create materials or other modeling processes. Next we can take a look at this curve that is away from the surface. We'll select that and the bottle and we can apply it as an add and in this case it's extruding perpendicular to the curve, which is what we want. And now we can move the curve in or out. We can adjust the directions and how much it's going to extrude by the value. And you can move it in or out of the surface. Everything here is procedural, so you can go back into the curve and select the control points and adjust those and also have the mesh update. So this is using curves in standard fusion rolls in Moto 13.1.